Marina Cheng has been at the Kenyatta National Hospital for the last two months, nursing her now 11-month-old daughter who suffered serious burns in a fire in their Kibera home. Her bill, when it came to it, was beyond her means. To be Lilifika 200. She was clinically discharged but couldn't leave the hospital due to the unpaid bills. She and her daughter made up the 258 patients that are now free to go home. This has been ongoing. Just that the past two weeks, we have now worked on the uh, 256. So it is something that has, if we check the data for the previous months, this is not the first time. We are doing this. It is routine. The hospital, which has a bed capacity of just 2,000 inpatients, currently admits more than double its capacity, and the board says holding patients unable to pay is an added strain to the facility. At the interest of this hospital, as I've said, to make sure that every person goes home. Because when they are here, we still have to feed them, we still have to take care of them, the hospital, in waiving the bills of some of the patients who had been detained and extending credit to others, says it is running into financial headwinds as a result of this. With time, we have been able to accumulate a deficit of 5.6 billion. The hospital says it is working hard to find a way of getting those who have defaulted on payments and are able to pay to pay back. For Maureen, though, the waiver is a welcome relief. She gets to take her baby home just in time to celebrate her first birthday.